Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is feeling about you, what would they say to you, where is this headed, and any other messages we can get from the cards here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick from the, oh, I forgot what it's called, Alice's Visions Love Oracle deck. She's a tarot reader here on YouTube. I think that's what the deck is called, but she came out with this romance deck a couple of years ago and I absolutely love this and I just feel called to start off with the love messages. I usually never do that. So um, yeah, this might be a little bit different. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, the first message we have here is I don't trust you. That's very interesting. I definitely feel like there's trust issues here from both sides. You know, this could also be your energy. Like you're just sort of losing faith and trust in this person, maybe in this connection. Okay. Um, but I, I do see that, you know, this person does have trust issues and it has nothing to do with you. I feel like they've been hurt in the past. Um, and you know, because of that, they had their guard up really high when it came to you. Sometimes this is a subconscious thing. Sometimes, uh, even, when you know certain things have happened to you without even realizing it you'll do certain things as a defense mechanism right uh for example like hyper independence some people who are hyper independent could have gone through a lot of trauma in the past and they just do this without even realizing they're doing it okay so i feel like there were definitely certain things that your person did you know and acted in order to just make sure that you know they don't get hurt they don't get played again as a subconscious self-defense mechanism okay um and again a lot of these processes happen behind the scenes and they sneak up on you when you're faced with circumstances in real life like sometimes you don't even know that oh okay this thing really impacted me until you see it happening in real life okay so i'm definitely seeing that you know that there is there are some sort of like trust issues here uh from your person's side again i feel like this is something that you know you could also uh, relate to i feel like this is something that everyone who's ever been in love <laughs> can relate to so um yeah that's just a message i'm getting here I also got I have a secret okay that's really interesting I also feel like this person was projecting a little bit I feel like maybe you know they don't trust people because like in the past maybe they could have been people that you know kept secrets and I feel like this person was definitely being secretive about something although maybe wasn't that secretive I feel like for the most part this person is pretty honest uh, but I know for some of you like you know maybe you were shocked to find out certain things I feel like uh, they, they acted a certain way in the beginning and then they acted really differently and maybe that in itself could be a secret or the, the secret could also mean they like you a lot more than they're letting on they're secretive about their you know the depth of their true feelings for you okay this could mean a variety of things depending on your situation um you know take what resonates because this is a collective reading um yeah let's go and pick a couple more cards but i do feel like something's gonna come to light about this connection uh, but i'm seeing more so in a positive way i feel like you already know what like if this person did do something deceitful or something that hurt you like you already know about it i feel like a lot of you have sleuthing skills you know you can find information about people it's not that hard to do if you have social media if you know you know so there's not really that much that like you know your person really kept from you i, I do feel like there are certain things that they weren't super vocal about in terms of like what they were going through maybe when they met you um i definitely know that I, i'm definitely sensing that there were certain things going on in their family uh with people close to them that kind of really impacted this connection and just their love life in general I, I feel like yeah your person could have opened up to you about this but they haven't really explained the full depth of how much this thing has impacted them and is continuing to impact them Jessica, i never should have let you go this person does regret letting you go they feel like they've lost their chance or like they're really close to losing their chance forever um i i, I feel like it's gonna hit them i feel like you know maybe you, f you might feel like they're enjoying living their best life, but I feel like it's sneaking up on them. Like the, their feelings for you are creeping up on them. Like, you know how sometimes, you know, you spend a lot of time with someone and uh, maybe when you're spending time, you're just like, you know, in the moment having fun, but then they leave and you're just like, oh my gosh, I miss this person so much. Or sometimes like maybe you thought like there wasn't, you know, there was someone that you were with or saw or dated or whatever, and you didn't think you liked them that much, but one day you just woke up and started feeling differently, right? Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like that's the case here with your person. I feel like they, they already did like you. Um, it, it's not like they didn't know that. I feel like there was an instant spark, instant connection, um, you know, between the both of you, but I'm seeing that there's a lot building up within them. That's 
going to be conducive to the progress of this connection sometimes people just need some time to process feelings i notice that tends to happen more with men um just in my experiences from what i've heard okay uh but i i feel like you know if you're asking about a guy like i feel like that's something that's happening like i feel like this person does like you but they just need some time to figure out uh you know what what's going on within them so that they can be in this connection fully and no matter who you're asking about i feel like this is applicable to you you know if you resonate with it um and and that that was just an observation maybe that's not the case not everyone is the same okay um so yeah i'm just seeing that something's gonna happen that's gonna make them reach out to you i feel like they're gonna wake up feeling really differently about you about this connection not feeling differently again they have been feeling a certain way but sometimes it doesn't hit you until it hits you right so yeah anyways i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from my daisy princess tarot deck which is available for sale on my website link to that and is in the description box below let's see what is going on with your person here okay uh the first card we have here is the knight of wands okay so there's definitely a lot of passion here i feel like this was a physical connection for uh you know a lot of you watching this okay maybe friends with benefits maybe situationship maybe um whether it's official or not there's just a lot of attraction and passion here from your person's side okay so i'm definitely seeing that they are into you um they still feel that spark for you okay um and wow okay these cards are so interesting okay yeah some of these cards just came face up i was like i don't even remember like, i don't know how the deck got like that uh, actually i have my one of my friends is staying over maybe she was looking at the deck that's why um but anyways okay we got this card here i was like literally shuffling the deck because i'm just like wait like some of these cards are face up <laughs> and then i saw this card um at the bottom of the deck and i shuffled it and this came up so magician i feel like if you're manifesting this person it's definitely working if you're manifesting this person uh to be in something official and committed with you this is a sign that it's working this is a sign that they have been thinking along those lines they have been thinking like okay yeah i do want something more because they are really attracted to you and i feel like to them attraction is really important i feel like sometimes people sort of underestimate the power of that i mean obviously like personality and demeanor and vibes and energy is important but um maybe some people you know underestimate just like how much um you know how attractive they are to their person uh because nowadays there's i keep seeing discourse about this like oh if i'm not their type they don't like me at all uh if yeah and like you know a lot of people project when they say that maybe a lot of these people like you know for example uh you know if, if you have a type or like i've noticed that certain people will have a type and they won't do anyone else but that type and then they'll project that thinking onto other people like okay because i don't date someone that's not my type then this person will never date someone that's not their type right so i don't feel like that's always the case people are different i know a lot of people who you know thought they had a type only to end up with someone way different than their type um some people i've had men literally tell me like oh i changed their type i wasn't really their type um i've had like you know I i've seen all kinds of stories okay you know to each their own again this is just an observation that i made sometimes women you know will not really date outside their type i feel like you know th this is something that i've seen like with women you know the clients that i have that are women like will come to me and be like oh i, I don't feel like i'm this person's type and then you know the entire time like they, they themselves said this like oh because you know i have a type and you know exactly what i said like sometimes people project the whole thing about like type so i, I feel like at the end of the day you don't need to worry about any of that kind of stuff this person's attracted to you. this person would not have gone out with you taken you out if they didn't find you attractive i'm seeing that for a lot of you guys you hung out at least a a couple times or even if we never saw each other in person um this person you know maybe liked a lot of your pictures on social media or facetiming you know video call whatever um either way this person is into you they are invested in you they have been thinking about you a lot and again if you're manifesting this person this is a sign that you know it, it's it's working something's happening things are shifting behind the scenes i absolutely love getting this card okay because this just indicates that like hey like you know things are working things are shifting um you are allowed to get what you want okay this is associated with mercury which is the planet of thoughts and communication and thinking you know, we got the sun so i'm seeing there are better and brighter days ahead for this connection i'm seeing that there's a lot of abundance and bliss and good things coming your way okay um this is not over yet this connection is far from over i'm definitely seeing something big is going to happen during the summer this is a timeless reading but um i'm seeing that you know leo season okay 
uh, or if not Leo season, maybe whenever the moon's in Leo, I'm just getting like Leo energy here. Um, I, I just feel like when it gets warm, like this person's gonna come back around. Maybe some people might be feeling anxious, like, oh, it's almost summer, you know, people wanna date around this, that. I don't really feel like your person wants to date around anymore. Like they're exhausted. Like they just wanna be with you. I feel like it's hitting them like, okay, I'd rather be with one person than, you know, continue, like, than, you know, like rather than explore my options. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person isn't, isn't even really interested in exploring their options. I'm seeing like, you know, if that was the case, if you feel like they were going out and dating other people, I feel like it was out of like pure loneliness. They just needed some company, but I'm seeing they're not really like getting with any of these people. Um, nothing like is really coming out of these relationships. So yeah. Um, we also got strength, so I'm seeing reconciliation, okay? The both of you are definitely going to reconcile and reunite. This is exactly what I was thinking about when I drew the sun card, okay? So you are going to talk, you are going to communicate, you are going to see each other again. And it's going to be good, it's going to be favorable, it's going to work out in your favor, okay? Um, we also got here the hermit. Yeah, I feel like right now you could be in hermit mode. Um, you may not be communicating, but I don't feel like that's going to be the case for much longer because we got like mostly, uh, you know, cards that indicate that you are going to get together. We also got here the page of pentacles. I'm seeing here with this page of pentacles, um something is going to come out of this connection like there, uh, something's building up in this connection okay pages are the messengers of the deck and i'm seeing that um you know th like this this also has to do with like being in a proper relationship and things going at a proper pace right like this is like the opposite of like love bombing this is like okay i really care about you i care about this connection i want this to go somewhere let's start off slow but not too slow but let's build this up okay so that's the sort of energy i'm getting here i feel like wherever you are in your connection you're definitely going to take that next step okay four of cups i feel like yeah you know this person you guys like i feel like they miss you they, they like your energy they crave your energy they miss being around you in general okay this person's like not feeling it they're not feeling with anyone feeling it with anyone or anyone else okay uh we also got the three of wands i'm seeing if this is a distance situation this person will come to wherever you are okay i'm seeing traveling i'm seeing seeing each other this also has to do with the future i feel like whenever this person thinks about their future they think about you and they want you in it again that's why i keep saying you know this this connection is far from over i feel like there's definitely unfinished business in this connection i feel like this has this hasn't even like hit hit the epitome or like you know the peak of it like i feel like this barely just got started okay like you know how sometimes um people will be in like a situation or relationship for months and they'll just never feel that spark i just feel like for a lot of you guys you never got a fair chance okay um but i feel like you know in terms of that spark like it's there and i feel like you know that they're not they're not feeling with anyone else uh you're not really feeling it with anyone else and that's why i know that you know the both of you are definitely gonna reunite so yeah anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end the reading right here i really hope this helps i do want to let you know that i offer in-depth hair readings as well as manifestation coaching and also custom make subliminal so if you're interested in any of these services check out the description box below where you'll find my website you can sign up for those services through my website and yeah i will see you all next time thank you so much love and light